Hey everybody, it's Silver Seeker, and I'm kind of excited because as you can see in front of you, I have my 2022 Silver Eagles in hand. Now, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you probably are wondering why I said that. Why am I excited about the 2022 Eagles? Last year, I was really critical of the 2021s. I still kind of am. Uh, and let's take a look at the two, and we're just going to go over it really quickly. Why was I critical of the 2021 Type 2 change over the original 2021 Type 1, as well as every other Silver Eagle back to 1986? And that's because I'm just not a big fan of the design. Now, last year or two years ago, the US Mint had a whole lot of different designs that they pitched to everybody. This one wasn't even on my radar as I went through the entire list. And uh, there were quite a few that I thought were really good, but none of them really beats this Heraldric Eagle. Now, everyone might have said they've been getting tired of it, but come on, look at this thing. Look at that eagle. He's He's got his wings spread open. He's got shield. He has twigs and uh, arrows right there in his claws. He has E Pluribus Unum and, of course, the 13 stars, but E Pluribus Unum on the ribbon in his beak. He's ready to go. He's ready to fight. This right here just says America. If you look at the reverse of the Type 2, you have an eagle coming in for a landing. He's landing on a twig. You know, he's getting ready to relax, whatever. His wings clipped off. The 13 stars are missing. E Pluribus Unum is no longer in his hand. Where's the arrows? There's no arrows as well. So I'm not a big fan of the design change to the Type 2 American Silver Eagle. I've said that before. But one thing I was more critical about than even the design change was the new security feature. So I'm sure you guys know a lot of Sovereign Nation one ounce silver coins have had a lot of new security features added over the last few years. The Great Brit Britain Britannia's was really, really good. You have the Trident on the front. It's uh, very hard to replicate for people with low quality tech like, you know, Chinese making fake eagles. But the Silver Eagle, the United States Mint decided that they were going to remove a reed from the bottom of a silver eagle, and that was going to be the new security feature. They didn't even do that on the Type 1s, by the way. They waited till the Type 2s came out. They just removed one reed. That's it. And I'm like, wait, that's pretty easy, I would imagine, for anyone, especially in China with the machines, to replicate. Just remove one reed from the die. You know, I mean, get her done, right? It, it's doable. But what the U.S. Mint did do this year, and uh, they may continue to do every year, I, I imagine this is probably what the plan is, is instead of the removed reed being in the same position every single year, like this one right here that doesn't want to focus, we have a reed position, missing reed position change. So if you take a look at this one, the missing reed position is right there at the about 210 degrees, whereas on the 2021, the missing reed is at 180 degrees, all, in other words, right at the bottom of the coin whereas they actually moved it on the 2022. So why is that significant, you would ask? Well, the reason that it's significant, at least according to the U.S. Mint, is because it's going to be harder to replicate them every single year because you're going to have to change the way the die looks every single year. So if we look at the bottom of these five, you can see right here they're all aligned. Now that they're aligned, or they're close to aligned, I should say, you can see right here there's the 2021, whereas the 2022 missing read is all the way over here. And so they're probably going to change this every single year. So 2023 will have a different position than 2022 did and 2021 did and so on and so forth. There's a lot of reads on the rim of a silver eagle. So it's very possible they could continue to do this for a very long time until a whole new design change for the silver eagle happens. The thing I don't like about this is, is even though it is better than just the read being in the same position every single year, it's still easy to replicate. And additionally, with a design change like that, why wouldn't you just do something that's a lot harder, like a like a privy that's kind of um, that's kind of elliptical or whatever, you know, kind of like what they're doing on the Britannias? Why wouldn't you do something like that instead of just removing a read every year? I mean, yeah, they may have to change the dies if they want to do 2022, but they're already going to have to modify the date. So why wouldn't you instead just do something that's much harder to replicate on these? Because I think this is just too easy to copy, even with the physician changing, which is better. Don't get me wrong. It's way, way better. It's still not it's still not good enough, in my opinion, compared to all the other amazing security features that have been introduced on Sovereign Nation coins in the last few years. It's just it's it's a missing read. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a missing read. That's it. And uh, whether or not it changes position or whatever. In fact, really, let's just think about it. Let's say they don't want to bother with changing the die. They'll just keep making the 2021s with the security feature intact. So you're like, oh, well, there's my 2021. Oh, it must be real because it has the missing read, right? In fact, I kind of want to get see if I can get my hands on a few fake 2021s to see how good the missing read on the fake ones look. I'm going to try and do that maybe in a future video. But yeah, I'm not a big fan 
of the security feature on the Silver Eagle, even though it is better. It is way better than it was when I thought it was just going to be in the same position every single year. It's still just a missing read. I mean, I just can't get over the fact it's just a missing read. I'd imagine that anyone has the, that has the technology, the equipment to make fake Silver Eagles that are somewhat passable to people on Etsy and buying them on Wish and you know reselling them to people that don't know any better, probably have the technology to remove a read in a certain position. In fact, I mean, you can count every single read on this coin. You can position them on a 360 degree wheel and know where everyone is, know which one you need to remove. I mean, it's doable. A little bit harder, but doable. Not a fan of it, but either way, um, they do exist, and I do have my 2022s in finally. I was glad to get them, even though I'm not a big fan of the reverse. I'm not buying as many Silver Eagles as I have in the past. If you guys have watched this channel before, you've probably seen me do unboxings where I even did a monster box of Silver Eagles. I didn't do it on the 2022s. I didn't do it on the 2021s and are the 2021 type twos. And that's just because spot price is higher than it was last time I got one. And the premiums are so high that it's hard to swallow getting an entire monster box of silver Eagles. I think the wholesale right now on silver Eagles is like 815, 820 over spot. And that's if you buy a whole lot, like if you buy a whole box together at once, that's about what you're paying. That's pretty high. That being said, about a monster box of Silver Eagles, guys, I do want to remind you that there is a link in the description of this chat. This video is not, I should say, not NOT sponsored by SD Bullion. In fact, they don't even know I'm doing this video until they see it themselves. That being said, I do have an affiliate link down below to take you to SD Bullion's website where you have a chance to win a 2022 monster box of silver eagle so if you click the link below go to their website fill out the email address and hit submit you get a free entry and additionally whenever you make a purchase i believe on sd bullion you get an entry into the giveaway as well so make sure you click that link all the rules and everything are over there guys if you want to have a chance at winning a monster box of 2022 silver eagles they'll pick the winner i believe in 2023 so it's a whole year that this thing is going but if you want to have a chance to win a monster box of 2022 silver eagles make sure you go down below click that link and Enter your email address and give it a shot. I mean, it's free to enter your email address, right? So you may as well. And again, all the rules and everything else are over there on their website. So make sure you go check them out. So that's it, guys. That's it for me. Um, 2022 Silver Eagles. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? Are they a bust? Are they good to go? Do you guys like these? I'm glad I got them myself. Uh, we will see if uh, we will see if uh, the security feature continues to change position every year. I think it's going to, and that is a good thing. But it's still just a missing read. I wish they would have did just a little bit more, like like I said, for example, the Britannia or the South Korean stuff with the 999 that's kind of in the, you know, in the thing, the elliptical thing or whatever you call it, where you flip it back and forth and you can see it one way and then you flip it another way and you see it different. I wish they would have did something different. But either way, 2022 Silver Eagles are out and everyone's able to get them. So start picking them up if that's what you want to do. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to check out that uh, that link below and we will see you in the next video.